Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored on this beautiful Sunday and I hope you're doing the same. And with that being said, much love to all and namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome as well. And, you know, I hope everybody's having a blessed day, being able to see things for what they truly are, being able to open yourself up, keep an open mind for more, you know, positive blessings and vibes coming your way. And if you are comfortable enough of dropping me a line, please go ahead and do so. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just up tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not subscribed yet, I'm just twisting up my whole uh, intro. Uh, please, uh, if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell at the bottom, so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also... If you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so, especially if an empath is going through some dark times and they need validation or confirmation on their life purpose and their life path and letting them know if they're doing the right things or not towards their future. Please go ahead and share and while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for the love and support you've been giving me. It's all greatly appreciated and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, this beautiful meditation, I've been finding me some good ones, y'all. Uh, releasing all negative blockages, fear, tension, anxiety, meditation, and music for healing. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Ocas, don't let the noise of others' opinions draw, draw, drown out your own inner voice. You shouldn't. You know, there's a lot of times when I told people, you know, look, this is the reason why I started doing my videos. You know, opening up, telling people, you know, Prince Rogers Nelson is my father. Letting people know, you know, I've been through a lot of abuse just because of who my father was you know I was abused by my family and all this stuff and it was like first my videos you know if you're just now coming in you know and just subscribing you don't know every single reason why I started doing my videos but it started off first by finding my biological mother being able to find out more about my family because my mom and my dad were like teen high school sweethearts and you know that was like finding out about my dad because I always had a connection with him you know it was always weird but I could never really talk about my dad you know my mom was always the one who allowed me to actually be open about my gift you know being able to know about my dad me and my dad had connections through dreams all the time and stuff like that so I wasn't really able to do that when it was around my adopted father but basically being able to help people that are spiritually gifted and making videos you know has really brought me a long way this is getting ready to go on my third year of me getting ready to do it. it's coming into my third year about to do it and it's just like the people I've met the things I found out about myself being open about it you know a lot of people it brought people the wrong way some people were embraced by that some people were like you know they were shocked and everything and they wanted to know more about me or some people just walked away because they didn't want to believe it and I said hey it is what it is you know if you're an empath you would know if you're getting feed BS or not you know other people you know they're like oh no this is not true whatever whatever but everything happens for a reason but there was a lot of people who were like you know what you shouldn't do videos like that or what do you think people will think about you and you know people might not believe you people will probably think you're a mental case or whatever I'm like you know I don't care what people think about me you know at first it, I did think that way but then when I'm like you know what the real people are going to gravitate towards you uh, the other people are not the right people are going to come towards your way and enjoy just the energy you bring upon your videos you know what lessons they can get out your videos and you know there's a lot of people that have you know really just like Rosalind you know I love your energy you have the same kind of energy that anybody's ever embraced my dad's energy they always say we have the same and it, it's just like really been a blessing to be able to do all these things being able to know my my tragic situation has brought me to look at things so different being able to heal, being able to look at things different, be able to embrace it different, finding out all these mystical hats I had about myself. I didn't know I was a spiritual conduit. I didn't know I was a white witch. Um, 
indigo. First, I found out it was indigo, then twin flame. Uh, finding out all these different things about the twin flame uh, relationship and connection. Uh, then a Hayoka, you know, then it explains a lot of things I did in my life backwards. You know, I, I suffer from dyslexia, dyslexia sometimes. I type things backwards, even say things backwards sometimes. Do things ass backwards. Um, being able to bring that insecurity out amongst people that I meet. Or they be being able to bring that out of me. I mean, bring that out of them. And they're able to embrace the fact and work on that. Some people that, you know, I don't rub them the wrong way and we end up parting ways. You know, it's all been a learning experience, being able to do all these things. But it's just the fact is when you know that you're putting out something that is going to really, you know, help you in a long way. Like I've told people many times in my videos, if people can't see their dreams for themselves or they might have failed on the goals heading towards their dream and they just gave up on it. Of course, they're going to sit up here and have their opinions about you. Or if they've never been in a situation, they're quick to give you advice. I always tell people, you can't give somebody some advice if you've never been through a situation. You can give them, you know, some uh, advice about certain things. But if you have not actually been through a certain situation, you can't sit up here and tell them this is the way to go about it. You know, I, I found that that doesn't work. You know, I, I don't went off on people about certain situations like that. You know, because it's just like people always say, you know what, you shouldn't really be you know dwelling on all these situations but i'm just like if you never lost a parent um being able to know you knew a parent for this long and somebody kept you away that's a lot to have to deal with knowing that your family is the one who kept you away and that's some so many situations i've had to heal from being able to recognize that because that part i've it took me a long time to heal from but now it's just the fact of me healing from the things that they have did mentally and emotionally verbally towards me um being able to heal from that and knowing i made positive videos about you know hey we all go through things don't ever you know allow fear to get a hold of stopping you from moving forward you know i've, I've allowed myself to do that at times there's times I'd have had to get uncomfortable stepping out my comfort zone. You always need to step out your comfort zone. Yeah, it might be comfortable there, but it don't go nowhere. <laughs> it really don't. If you don't uh, focus on, like, how can I bring some more excitement to my life? How can I push myself off to be something better than what I'm doing right now? You know, or am I in the place right now where I'm okay? You know, where I, you know, where you feel like you can't go further. But I always feel like you should never put limitations on yourself. You always should. You learn different things every single day. I feel like, you know, it's a blessing to be able to learn something new every day. It could be about somebody you know or something about your life or something that, you know, you're heading towards. You should never allow somebody's voice drown out your dreams. You shouldn't. You should not do that, especially if you know there's something that you can believe in. If people don't believe in their own dreams, they can't see they be able to see your dreams as well. Because they feel like just because they failed at this, you're going to fail at that too. You're two different people. But especially if people see, <laughs> there are some supportive people. And I made a statement about that yesterday. And I got that from uh, Gossip Girl, Miss Jessica Kynor. I love that chick. And she was like, you have to be, you have to be uh, aware of people that will be hating on you but trying to say that they're supporting you they will be by your side every step of the way but just to make sure you don't get ahead of them i've had plenty of people do that with me and i've you know i was so pissed about it there's time like i know you didn't especially if i've been there for you and this and this and that and people have done that because they didn't want to see nothing better better for me or it's just the fact is i knew too much or i've been through so much but yet I'm acknowledging all these different things about myself and being able to help others. People didn't like that. So it's just like I couldn't allow their opinions of me to stop me from what I'm going to do. You know, I've, I feel like my videos has helped a lot of people, even though there are some people that I've got on one-on-one -on -one with. And there are some people that I still stay in contact with. And there's people I had to cut myself off from because of the negative impact they were putting in my life. You know, they tried to sabotage me. They will get little things out of my, you know, get little things up from me acting like they, oh, they care, but they would pray against me not getting those things. And I'm like, how dare you do that? Especially when I've been, you know, trying to be supportive towards you because I feel like everybody can win a race, but you should never sit up here and try to stop somebody else's race. 
from you know reaching their their goal because you feel like they don't deserve that you can't sit up here and be no judge and jury for nobody that's what my family did my whole life is always determined like she don't deserve that she shouldn't be happy you know my dad used to you know uh financially spoil me but i never got a chance to you know uh, uh live that life because my family wanted to live that life as well so they kept me from you know me and my family from that situation just so they can live good and, you know and that was something i really I, I said i'm not gonna allow nobody to ever do that for me again that's what my life has always been about with people making decisions for me because they didn't feel like i deserved that you know that's nobody's right to do that to people that's very selfish but allowing me to do speak my mind and being able to tell people no matter what limitations people try to put on you cut that off cut that core <laughs> you deserve to have anything that you work hard for in life go get it you have earned it you know if you work hard and you've actually did this without manipulating putting your integrity in the way and you earn that go after it you should you know there's a lot of people that will do little slick minded stuff to get what they want it's just like with me i'm just straight up with mine you know i'm not going to be you know beating around a bush about certain things lying about nothing to try to get myself ahead in life i'm anything i've earned in my life i worked hard for it there's nothing i can say i've got because i'm who who my who i'm related to i can always say yeah i did this because i earned it and nobody helped me do this but myself you know there's people that knew about my situation knew knew exactly who my dad was could have helped me get home but they don't they didn't like the fact is what my dad represents how much his net worth is from so they keep their mouth shut and act like they don't know nothing because they don't want my, me to have that life but that's okay because what everything i'm doing is on my own nobody can ever say well Rosalind wouldn't have that if it wasn't for, for me you know so you earn your stuff and don't allow somebody to sit up here and have negative impact on your life to stop you and your growth you keep doing you so i hope you are able to reckon uh recognize i don't know why i keep saying that resonate with the content of my video <laughs> y'all i'm just trying to make these really short so y'all can have at least about two or three of them out tonight or at least three or four because i've been you know because if it goes over 13 14 minutes i don't know why youtube allows it to take up almost close to four or five hours just for a 13 14 minute you know video to come out but anyways i hope you are able to you know resonate with this video don't allow anybody's negative influence stop you on your positive flow and i tell people that all the time um and i'm gonna give my post notification shout out to uh daquan bradley and stacy folly much love to you know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can send out so much love and energy hope you have a blessed prosperous week if this comes out tonight i hope you have a blessed prosperous week and you had a safe weekend you are responsible for everything you do and i'll see you on my next video much love peace and be wild.